Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Average at Best. As always, my name is Josh, and I know it has been a long time, but we are back. We are back in full swing, and we are going to be bringing you today a tutorial on how to bowl spares as a two-handed bowler. Now, obviously, as a two-handed bowler, spare shooting is going to be a bit different than how a one-hander would go about doing it. Now, the way that I like to describe it as is there are two different ways that you can throw spares as a two-handed bowler. There's one way where you can throw either up the back of with your hand like this or as like a as a more back up version where you basically spin your hand the opposite direction so you're getting opposite roll that's mainly for like 10 pins and stuff and that's only really for advanced bowlers who know how to do that type of stuff or you get your hands on one of these spare balls and that gives you the opportunity to just throw a normal shot and not have it hook as much as a strike ball would so if you do not have one of these uh like you know, I have a sniper here today, but any spare ball from any type of brand will do. If you not, if you do not have one of these, or maybe like a urethane ball, I highly, highly, highly recommend you get one um, if you are a two-handed bowler. Because as I'll show you in just a second, it is very hard to do an end-over-end -end rotation as a two-hander and have it not hook at all. Um, so it'll make ten pins and right-sided spares a lot harder. So I. I fully recommend getting one of these because it really makes the job that much easier to get up and get your spares. So one of the things that I would like to touch on real quick is uh, for sevens and tens. So sevens and tens are on the opposite side of each lane, right? So the tens are on the right side, sevens are on the left side. So one of the easiest ways to go about doing this is going at a more sideways angle. So kind of starting off from the left here. And just kind of throwing over 20, I like to throw over 20 uh, as a benchmark for both my 7s and my 10s, kind of throwing at more of an angle. So basically throwing your ball starting about right here, so around this spot in the lane, throwing over 20 and having it hook into the, into the 10. And if you're a lefty, having it let go right around here, throwing over 20 and having it hook a little bit into the 7. So first I'm going to touch on throwing uh, your spare shots end over end. Now you're going to see a couple of pros do this, but not. it is not very common as a two-hander to throw end over end reaction with the spare ball. Some people are really good at doing it, uh, but a lot of people just uh, tend to go for the spare ball uh, route just because it's a lot easier, it's a lot more consistent, and uh, you don't have to work too, too hard. One of the main benefits from using a reaction ball uh, instead of a spare ball is that it opens up another ball uh, for your arsenal. Um, but really, that's really the only benefit to it. So I'll go ahead and quickly show you how hard it can be sometimes. So I'll go ahead and throw a 10 pin real quick. And as you can see, I actually did a very good job at that. But uh, if you saw at the very end, there was just a little bit of hook because I didn't really get fully end over end because that is very, very hard to do unless you are giving a slight backup to your ball. And really, I just I wouldn't recommend doing this as much as I would recommend just getting a spare ball, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it is an option if you decide that you want to do that. So I'll very quickly touch on how to throw at a 10 pin with a spare ball, and then I'll also show you a little bit on how to throw a seven pin. Um, they're pretty much the exact same, except they're on obviously opposite sides of the lane. Um, if you are a left-hander, just basically inverse everything I say uh, in the next few minutes. So yeah, so you're going to want to set up just a little bit past the uh, dots here, just about on the edge of the lane, and you're going to want to set up like normal, and you're going to try and throw over 4 to 20, and try to get it just a little bit to the right of the 10 pin. You want to kind of make it so that it has time to hook just a little bit, because with a spare ball, it's going to hook just a little bit. That was bad form, but as you can see, it hooked just a little bit um, because obviously you're putting rotation on the ball and no ball is going to be 100% um, non-hookable, I guess I should say. Um, so you just want to keep that in mind every time you go for a 10 pin. You're going to want to throw it just a little bit to the right of the 10 pin, like kind of aiming a little bit to the right. I'd say maybe, maybe about like half a foot in terms of like what your eyes are looking at and try to just make it so that it kind of hooks in. Uh, for lefties, it'll be the exact same, but with the seven pin, it's just to account for that little bit of hook that you get whenever you throw 
your regular shot as a two-hander. Um, so that way you don't miss it to the right or miss it to the left because it overhooks and whatnot. All right, so now we're gonna briefly talk about uh, the seven pin and how to make that as a two-hander bowler. Um, for a lefty, it'll be the 10 pin. Basically, it's a little bit more difficult. Left-sided spares and right-sided spares for left-handers are just kind of difficult because you have to kind of go across your body and sometimes you can go across too much. Sometimes you can basically miss it completely to the right. So basically what I like to do is I like to stand just a little bit to the right of 20. So the, the dot that's on the ground, 20. And I like to just kind of look a little bit to the right of uh, board 20. Not too much. You want to try and stay on board 20 as much as you can. But I find that this really does make it so that you can actually not go too far across your body and you're not working too hard. Kind of a little bit like that. So if you guys saw there, kind of went a little bit to the right of the 20 uh, board, but you really want to just kind of keep it around that 20 board. It's obviously going to hook just a little bit on you if you're throwing it normally. So just keep that in mind every time you're going up for a seven pin. Kind of go to the right of the seven pin just a little bit and hopefully it should hook Hopefully it should hook into it and you don't have to miss it to the right, to the right or to the left. Obviously the main thing uh, that it boils down to is just getting out there and practicing. Spares are really what make or break a game, so really getting out there and practicing, making sure that every time you go up to throw out a spare you can very reliably make it. Um, that is really all there is to it, to doing two-handed spares. Um, yeah, so that's about it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to like and comment down below. Anything else, any other questions, I'll make sure to respond and answer anything you guys ask for. We are very close to 3,000 subscribers. Honestly, we might be a little bit over 3,000 by the time this video comes out, but we just wanted to say uh, thank you guys so much for all of the support that has been coming onto this channel recently. We couldn't be more glad. I know it's been a very dormant winter, we have not done anything, you know, we just kind of got behind with school and with uh, holiday stuff. And so we are really ready to come into 2023, pumping out as much good content as we can for you guys. So we really would appreciate if you guys stick around. So yeah, that's about all for, that's about all for me today. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.